Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Quick video today, a couple of items. NVIDIA has released a new driver. They actually released it a, about a week ago, I guess now. And so I've been testing it for a while and we're sitting here today in the Mooney, that Mooney, <laughs> the Piper 3. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful aircraft if you just want to get in a plane and fly and relax. I tell you, this thing is just such a beautiful airplane. airplane. Uh, yeah, so the driver is NVIDIA 531, that's 531.68. OpenXR Toolkit also has been updated. Up till now, I was running version 1.2.4, and now I'm running 1.3.2. I still find it to be beneficial on my system with my configuration to use the OpenXR Toolkit. And now you can see here, I'm getting some pretty good, smooth performance, good-looking graphics. The performance of this driver has been really very, very nice. I've not had any complaints. I definitely have not noticed any issues with it. No increase in stutters, no um, frame rate drop. I've, I'm still averaging a good 45 frames per second here uh, based on what I'm seeing displayed in the OpenXR toolkit when I enable the frame rate counter. But Again, as I said in my most recent settings video, in some of the videos following that, I'm flying with features enabled that I've never been able to really enjoy before. Things like bloom, ambient occlusion, grass and bushes, terrain, shadows, some of the reflections. I've always had to have those turned off in the past. Up until Sim update, well, I think it was, yeah. So the sim version I'm running is 1.31.22.0. So NVIDIA 531.68, OpenXR 1.3.2, sim version 1.31.22.0. And it's been awesome. It's been really performing nicely for me with a very varying planes and locations. I, I find the driver to be a good driver, a good update. Nothing to report for complaints. So check it out. Uh, again, I think you'll be happy, at least if you have a system similar to mine. <laughs> the specs for my systems are, my system is always in my description on the video. But this is a 3070 laptop, not the TI. This is a RTX 3070 on a Ryzen 5000 series Alienware laptop running Quest 2 headset and Steam VR with virtual desktop. That is how I fly. I do not use the cable or Oculus Link. I do not have a monitor, so I fly VR with a Quest headset and Steam VR. And this is how I fly. This is my performance and my view. And what you're seeing in the recording because this is recorded directly in the headset, this is very, very close to what I see as well. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the skies.